So here we have tongue positions. We haven't got the sixth one, air, because they don't use it. I do. Well, I'll explain that when we get to it. So this is the sequence we're looking at. Fire, tongue, just above the teeth. Earth, down on the lower palate. Metal, touching the teeth. Water, straight up. Wood, 45 degrees as if your tongue's gonna come out your nose. These diagrams aren't brilliant, but anywhere close to that should work. And the sixth element is air. So that's your tongue folds right back. So the bottom of your tongue is touching the roof of your mouth as far back as you can get it. Okay. So that's the tongue positions. So what that's all about is breathing techniques. Now, touching the tongue in various places can give you access to certain vibrations for martial arts techniques. So for instance, if I've got somebody in a center lock, so I've got the wrist, and I'm shutting out pressure points, I've misaligned it, and I touch my tongue up just above the teeth and access the fire energy, boom, they squeal and drop. So we know it works, because it works in the big world, not the hairy fairy healing breathing world. It works in both, so I get to test it on big fellas, I get to smack them, and they squeal and fall down, which is all good fun. So the sequence is, as you saw, fire, earth, metal, water, wood, air. Traditional Chinese medicine has five elements. I got six, and I got them in a different order. Because now they actually work straight away, and they work really well. You need six elements because you've got 12 meridians. So the Chinese guys got it wrong. There's millions and millions and millions of them, thousands of years ago, they all got it wrong. <laughs> People don't like me saying that, but my stuff works, I know it works, because I test it at seminars with big hairy blokes, and they love it. Um, so, we're gonna breathe in through the area in the mouth that you are making pressure. So the first one is fire, so your tongue goes just above your top set of teeth, on the inside obviously, and you just push it, like that, and then imagine you can breathe through that area where the pressure is. So you only need one in-breath in the right sequence to get a result, but you can, you can do you can do 100 on that one, and then move on to the next one and do 100 on that one, or you can do one on each, and then do this full cycle again. So that's fire. Then we want earth, so your tongue goes onto the bottom palate, hold your nose as long as you can get it, pushing forward, breathing through that one. So we've got fire, earth, now we want metal, so that's straight forward onto your teeth. That's your metal one. Then we want wood, so your tongue's up at 45, as if it's going to come out your nose, like that. So breathe into that one. Water, tongue straight up. Okay, so bent 90 degrees straight on the top of your mouth. Breathe in through that. Air, fold your tongue back. As far, excuse me, as far as you can. So the bottom of your tongue touches the roof of your mouth. Do that, that'll flood the meridians with the right energy and it will be good for healing, health, longevity and resistance to pressure point strikes, joint locks, and all kinds of wondrous things. Let me know how you get on with that one.